What's up, Impact Wrestling fans? BQ here. This is the Impact Lounge. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And as I've stated before, it is punishable by death if you do not subscribe to the channel. So please hit that subscribe button. Unfortunately, you know, you don't know how much I wish I could sit here and just talk about good stuff. But I try to do everything its due diligence. Unfortunately, it was not, not made official. But the Impact Wrestling website today has removed several names from the roster. Namely, Alicia Edwards, Swaggle, the Veterans of War, and Mahabali Shira. So I'm going to talk about each of these real quick. Alicia Edwards, I'm very disappointed about. I, uh, I think I was higher on her than a lot of people were. I felt like she had a lot of energy, a little bit of a daredevil, could command the audience. And, you know, they obviously brought her in to do the Edward, I'm sorry, the angle with Davey Richards and, and uh, Angelina Love. Now, those two, part, those two departed the company after Slammiversary, and I can understand. What do you do with someone like Alicia? We've talked about this on the channel before when it comes to the knockouts. The, 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 the booking committee only creatively seems to know how to work with knockouts who have a name already. They don't do a good job of debuting some of the younger talent building them up like they once did not to say they don't do a good job with the knockouts division this is the best they've done with the knockouts division in quite some time but someone like alicia who you know i suspected could be a possible release you know how do you book her what do you do with her i would have used her I don't want to say as an enhancement talent, but you didn't have to put Ava's story in there every single time. And then to use uh, Amber Nova, who's not even part of the roster so much, you know, you, you probably could have found, you know, something to do because not everyone can be at the top, you know. So I would keep a close eye on this regarding Eddie Edwards, however, because I don't, I don't feel like that sits well uh, with the hubby when you're releasing the wife and taking, you know, some, some, uh, some money away from the household. So we got to keep an eye on Eddie Edwards. That's not someone we, we want to lose. And they've given him a lot of opportunities to wrestle in Japan right now. We know that Kevin Owens been in this guy's ear for quite some time. And uh, I think Eddie Edwards is the worst possible guy to <laughs> go over there. I think that would be a huge mistake for him. Um, I mean, everyone deserves to give it a shot. But I just, I don't think he could, um, would do very well over there. Talent-wise, yes. But... You know, he's kind of a plain looking dude, uh, as much of a fan of his that I am. So we got to keep an eye on that. Swaggle, I think we know that was a, a short term thing. Oddly enough, he's been around for about a year because remember, he was in the uh, tag team Apocalypto. So he's actually been a, around a lot longer <laughs> than we realized, but I think we all expected that to be a short term thing. Veterans of War, that was a team I liked a lot because of the uh, military connection that I have with them. And uh, Wilcox is going to be coming on the channel soon. So, you know, we'll talk a little impact, a little bit about the departure and then other things going on. But, um, you know, this was a team I, I did like. I don't know how much they, um, you know, got over with the crowd. Because, unfortunately, as much as I hate to say it because I love my country, the United States is probably the least patriotic company or company country in the world. Did I say company twice? I love my country, I said. And, uh, we're one of one of the least patriotic company. <laughs> I did it again. Countries in the world. That breaks my heart to say that. So you know maybe maybe the the USA gimmick doesn't quite work. But I really like these guys. I like two big guys in there, throwing people around. And I think the problem was is they they suffered a couple losses to LAX early on. And that's when they were throwing all the tag teams at LAX. <laughs> you know way too quickly. And I think that kind of hurt them. But I would have liked to see them stick around. What they're doing with the tag team division, I have no idea. But I hope we get some answers soon. And then Mahabali Shira. That one was a little strange to me because of the connection to India. Maybe they feel like Sanjay is all they need. Maybe they got some eyes, their eyes on, on some others. I don't know if Hakeem Zayn is Indian or not. He'll be coming on the, the channel here pretty soon. We'll talk to him. We'll get some information. But, the you know, the dirt sheets are going to flip. Oh, everybody's leaving. You know, a majority of these departures 
are people the company's letting go. Are there some people requesting the release? Yeah, absolutely. But there's just a big turnover going. The dirt sheets are going to flip this. How the, you know, it's, it's the company dying and no money. No, it's a turnover. There's new people in charge, new creative. And even though it seems to rebook every few months, there's just new people calling the shots right now. And they're going to bring new people in. I feel like they're going to make a more aggress aggressive um, run at some of the free agents that are indie darlings. Because this is an area where they've always lacked. But, um, you know, I can understand it. with Shearer, there wasn't a lot they could do with him. Not a lot they were doing with him. Pairing him up with Grado for quite some time, I think, hurt him. The Veterans of War absolutely have a, a place in the company as a tag team. But, you know, obviously they're moving away from them. Um, and Alicia, you know, they've got a few new knockouts that they're trying to sign, trying to debut. And, you know, she just, you know, joins MJ with someone who just fell to the wayside. And as we've stated before, the knockouts photo shoots going on, that was kind of letting us know the writing was on the wall who were the knockouts they were keeping around and when we weren't seeing Alicia and MJ it's kind of letting us know early on but um, I, I would say Veterans of War and Alicia those uh, those disappoint me quite a bit I'm not like the hugest sheer fan in the world but I, I like the music I like the dance and you know I still like seeing big guys get out there so um, leave any thoughts let's let's hope for a little bit more positive news Hopefully we hear of some more signings here shortly and not these, you know, people showing up on the show and not signing. Hopefully we get some really, really good news um, coming. And I have to feel like a lot of these cuts are to make more aggressive bids at, at, at other wrestlers, you know, so. But we got to keep an eye on the Eddie Edwards situation. I'm not starting any rumors. I'm just saying we got to keep an eye on that. This is BQ. Hit subscribe and we'll talk to you soon. Peace.